biotech is really this big frontier that we're all exploring together right now. And there's many years left of exploration. And so we need each other, we need to work together. There's a lot of stakeholders in this. Today, Aldebaran is a leading provider of, of plasma DNA, uh, RNA, antibodies, proteins, gene editing enzymes. Aldebaran really has um, been fortunate to grow along with our clients and the industry in which we serve. Aldebaran's new building are 70,000 square foot GMP facilities, the largest nucleic acid facility in the world. This is the cornerstone of a future campus. It's going to have a research production center so we can meet our clients' needs from early preclinical studies. Uh, this is the clinical and commercial supply facility and eventually we'll have large-scale commercial supply as well. One of the major drivers for what the building looks like has come from interaction with our clients. We expect that we're going to be frequently audited by our customers, by regulatory agencies. So building in that transparency, where folks are able to see and see what we're doing, uh, was critical to us. We put in viewing windows where you can see into each space. In our GMP space, we've actually put in closed circuit cameras where you can have a person in plant who sits on site and monitors the production without having to enter the facility at all. When we're producing a product in a particular room, those rooms have independent air handlers. So the air passing through the room is dedicated to that space. In many cases, we have single pass air. Uh, we have ISO classifications designed to make sure that they meet the cleanliness requirements that are needed and a building management system that's fully validated. We invest a lot of resources into developing new technologies and to that continuous improvement mission. Our scientific department is always very uh, keen on the industry and watching to see where, where we believe that the next trend or the next need is going to be. The two biggest things sort of lie at either end of a continuum that have required a lot of innovation around them. And, and one of them is scale up where if you were going to approach a one kilogram event, you'd do a series of smaller events and, and pull the material at the end. To become really efficient, we have to be innovative enough to be able to do that in say two or three steps. And then somewhere down the road, when a thing becomes commercialized, be able to do it in one step. And then at the other end is, at, of the spectrum is this personalized medicine neoantigen space based around sequences unique to the individual being used to make very small quantities but doing it very, very quickly. Our facility is designed to uh, tackle future technology, uh, tackle trends in disposable process operations. We've got the right kind of combination of hard fixed uh, infrastructure assets and disposability. Our new 300 liter scale is, is critical for us and is, and is an important part of this new facility. Uh, we're scaling up our, our production operation tenfold. This really allows us to meet all our customers' future demands for commercial supply. A client can come in and get material that's appropriate for the phase of the work they're doing by operating somewhere within our quality system, whereas some of our competitors don't have this front end. They have well, it's either going to be made in one of our open labs or it's going to be GMP. When you're approaching late stage commercialization, you want to make sure the place that you're making your drug for your pivotal clinical trials is the same place you intend to make your drug for commercial supply. While the manufacturing process itself remains consistent, our quality system is designed in that way you can add on layers of those attributes as they progress further through the regulatory process. We want to just be the people that we need some DNA, mate. We need some RNA, mate. We need this um, gene editing enzyme made, and it's got to be appropriate for humans. Can we just give it to you and get it made? Yep, we'll get it made for you. Well, for terminal patients who don't have six months, we need to manufacture these drugs much, much faster. It's not just a vial going out the door that's got a clear liquid into it. It's a, it's a product going out the door that could at some day help save somebody within your family. In the next few years, we're going to see tremendous advances in how these therapies are manufactured. We support the innovators in these fields that are developing new therapies, um, new food products, and really new technologies that make life better for all of us.